gentlemen, I'm ready. Uncle Jim! Uncle Jim, the torch gang is back there in the woods. They're firing a bomb off in that field that's going to blow up this warehouse. Show me where they are. Come Not on. Now. Come on. Come on, let's go up. Just see what's up there. I sure thought you fellas were corners. We thought so, too. We better find the other boys and see if we can get a line on the torch gang. The torch had my father with them. That's right. It was the power of your father's invention that set off that blast. You don't know mean my father. Willingly, Billy. Torch gang forced him to do it. I hope Chip and the other kids got something. We'll soon find out. Come on. The guards stand by. There were no other explosives within miles of this place. Of course we did, Colonel Barton. Otherwise, we couldn't have persuaded you to demonstrate your invention here. But that must have been an arsenal. With guards and workmen in it. And you murdered them. Get you. back. Your explosive is everything you claimed it to be. All right, wake up and let's get out of here. Hey, they're going to make a getaway in their car. Punching a hole in one of them tires. Hey, maybe you ought to trail him in Harry's car. Huh? We gotta see what happened to Billy first. Yeah, and Harry. Be a jolly love. Stop worrying about Harry, will you? Come on. Swell time to get a flat. Keep going. We'll make the change and catch you. Keep your radio on 1.8. Looks like it's been cut. How could it be? Search me. Here's the jack. I can't find the lug wrench. Try this. That's no good for a quick job. Well, I'll start with it anyhow until I find the other. All right. Now that you boys have recognized a member of the Torch Gang, it'll help us greatly in trailing them. That gang will try to blow up a report and arsenal in this country. Yeah, and plus... Here's the lug wrench. It's about time you found it. Blasted for sure, Bill. Did the torch gang clear out? Yeah, but they won't get far. Why not? I knifed one of them. Knifed them? Ah, uh, knifed one of their tires. Which way'd they go? Ah, uh, they went that way. <sighs> Car, follow them. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Like somebody stopped here. Right. The gang probably stopped to change that tire Jim mentioned. Well, we can't be far ahead. Let's go. Here come the kids. We better ditch them, Jim. There's lively gunplay. I'll fix them. What's wrong? Why'd you stop? I think the men were after changed the tire here. Look around, see if you can find some evidence. Oh, gee, we want. Okay, Uncle Jim. What kind of evidence is he looking for? Evidence that might establish the identity of those men. I know them. Only by sight. We don't know their names. Come on, let's get busy. Huh? Hey, what do you got? Don't touch it. Why not? 
You'll smear the fingerprints on it. And they may give us the lead we're looking for. Won't you smear the fingerprints on that wrench by handling it? Not with this handkerchief covering it. All right, all right, there's fingerprints on it. So what? Well, by scientific deduction, we may get a lie on that gang. What are you going to do with it? Turn it over to the G-man? Listen, if you're so smart about your reduction stuff, why don't, why don't you handle it yourself? Yeah, sure, we're all going to be junior G-men now, Harry. Look, you work it out yourself. We'll watch and get wise to height. Okay, Billy, I'll develop those prints myself. Let's go. Come on. this bus. Maybe whoever slipped that tire did something with Emmy. I believe that car back there is tailing us. It keeps the same distance behind us all the time. Turn off the next dirt road. They're trying to lose us in the dust. We've lost them for a minute, but they'll catch us again. We've got to ditch this bus. G-man right on our heels? Contact the van and tell it to wait for us. Told Foster to keep his radio tuned in on 1.8. Severin, call him Foster. Yeah, okay. We gotta wait for the other car. Well, what's up now? Search me, it's orders from Severin. Come on, back it out of here. We gotta get that gang. this to the fire warden. Come on, Duke. Keep your eyes open. We were home. Yes, sir. something important, why didn't he bring it up here? That's what I'd like to know. Come on, Duke. Now I'll brush it with this powder. Watch the prints come out. Gee, that's great stuff. Well, that certainly puts a finger on the crook, doesn't it? Well, we know these prints belong to a member of the Torch Gang. He's got a record. We'll soon learn who he is. Yeah, but how are you going to find out? We'll take a picture of the prints. Come in. I want to show you something. 
What do you know about Violet? I had a girl by the name of Violet once. So what? Uh, you had a lot of girls with a lot of names. Boy, this is a swell smell. From me. Well, I'm sorry, Uncle Jim, but we found this wrench with a torch gang chain of the tire. Look at that swell print on it. Hey, that's fine. I came here to ball you boys out, but you've done as well with this wrench as we could ourselves. Sure we have. We ain't so dumb. You know, while you're set up, you may as well get a couple of more shots. Hey, what are these pictures going to get you? The identity of one of the members of the torch gang, I hope. Oh, how are you going to do that? Well, it's like this, Billy. We send the photographs of the prints to our headquarters in Washington, D.C. They'll be compared with those on record. If the man whose prints they are has ever been fingerprinted, we'll know who he is. In spite of the millions of cards, it'll take less than three minutes to find the one we want, if it's there. Then headquarters will notify us. Here's the report from Washington on the Prince of Harris. Thanks. Corey served time in three states on felony charges. At present on parole. Reportedly once associated with Zeno Ponzetti. Well, that's the big shot con man they never caught. Yeah. That gives me an idea that Ponzetti is the brains behind this torch gang. He always did have big ideas. Here's Corey's last known address. Probably still correct as he's on parole. Arrange the usual routine and get all the possible information about him. What's your next move? Well, I promised Billy and Harry I'd tell them who this fellow is. They want it for their records. What for? They'll only go looking for him and gum us up again. I don't think they will. I've got a hunch that they're going to help us out. Are you still betting out with your old man with those torches? I'm sure it was. Come on, don't you think I know my own father? You ain't seen your old man for five years. All right, they call him Colonel Barton, didn't they? So what? So there's a lot of Colonel Barton. You're crazy. Hey, where'd you get those tailor-made cigarettes? I picked them up in the woods where the torches parked their car. What's well, the idea? That's evidence, you sap. Didn't you hear what Harry said? Don't tell me they're going to get fingerprints off them things. I'm not letting nothing slip by that'll give us a line on those torches. You guys wait here till I get back. Well, boys, I have some good news for you. What is it? Thanks for Harry's alertness in picking up those prints. We've got a line on one of the members of the torch gang. Now, if I give you his name and address for your records, will you promise to stay away from there until I give you the word to go? Sure, I promise. All right, here it is. Al Corey, 215, 5th Street. Look, we'll round up the gang, sneak up on that guy Corey tonight, beat him up, make him tell us where my father is. Come on, let's start. is in the middle of this block. You guys wait here till I find out what flat Corey lives in. Yeah. No, okay. Okay. Hey. hey. All right, let's have the report on Corey. Well, here it is. Corey has no family. He lives in the top flat and the rent's paid up. He hasn't been around for a while, but keeps the flat up and just drops in occasionally. Is that all? Yeah. I didn't want to get too nosy. The landlady likes him and might tip him off. Good work. We'll wait here until the other agents check the pool room cafe. Come on in. I don't think I should. Ah, come on. I got something up there I've been saving for a homecoming. Brad told me to get this explosive stuff to number seven. They might need it. Oh, they're not in that much of a hurry. Come on in. Well, okay, but just for a minute. Hey, what are you up? It's the Barton kid. This is Barton. What are you doing here? 
I ain't talking. Well, you ain't, huh? You ought to be with your father. He misses you. Billy, get our car. I'll try to stop him. 